Solve the system of equations by graphing. Let's get each of these lines into slope-intercept form. We have negative y equals negative 4x plus 5, and then we have y equals 4x minus 5. Uh, this line crosses at negative 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then has a slope of 4, so we could go, we could go down 1, 2, 3, 4, left 1, so we could start here, go up 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, right 1. So maybe, hopefully that'll be good enough. And then we want to get this into slope-intercept form. We have negative 2y equals negative 3x. y is equal to, looks like 3 halves x. Well, this one goes through 0, 0 and we go up 1, 2, 3, and over 2. So it looks like this is the point right here where they intersect. And I guess I could extend this line out. The point of intersection looks to be 2, 3. So the point 2, 3 seems to solve the equation. We have 8 minus 3 is actually 5 when we plug 2, 3 in. And uh, 6 minus 6 is 0, so we found the solution. Use substitution to solve the system of equations. Let's get one of these y's by itself. Maybe we could do uh, y equals 22 minus 2x. And then we'll plug that in for the other y. We have 3x minus 22 minus 2x is equal to 8. 3x minus 22 plus 2x is equal to 8. We got 5x minus 22 equals 8. 5x equals 30, so x equals 6. We have 6 comma something. How about we plug that x value in for this x? We have 22 minus 2 times 6. That's 22 minus 12. That's 10. So we have the point 6, 10. Use elimination to solve the system of equations. Let's get either the x's or the y's to be the same. And the easiest process is to multiply everybody by 2 on the second equation. We have 2x plus 8y is equal to 28. And now that this one is 2 and this one is 2, I can subtract these two equations. So 2x minus 2 is 0, negative 3 minus 8, that's negative 11y. And then we have negative 16 minus 28, that's negative 44. y is equal to 4. Now I have to get the x. How about we plug y into maybe the second original one. We have x plus 16 now is equal to 14. So x is equal to negative 2. We have the point negative, negative, 2, 4. Solve the systems of equations. Let's call this equation A, this one B, and this equation C. Let's try to eliminate x in equations A and B. We can take A plus B, and when we add the two together, we get 2y minus z is equal to 0. Now let's try to get x eliminated using two other equations. What if we used A and C? We could have 3A and then minus uh, equation C. That way we'd have 3x minus 3x. We have 3x plus 3y plus 3z is equal to 15. Then we have 3x minus 2y plus z is equal to negative 3. We're going to subtract these two. We're going to get 5y plus 2z is equal to 18. Well now we have two equations where uh, x is eliminated. Well now we can combine these two. If I call this equation D and E, now I can take 2 times D plus E. And that will get rid of Z. We have 4Y minus 2Z is equal to 0. And then we have 5Y plus 2Z is equal to 18. Now we can eliminate the z and we get 9y is equal to 18. y now is equal to 2. Well now I just have to plug back into some of the equations. What if we plug y, the 2, back into this top one right here? We'd have 2 times 2 
minus z equals 0. We'd have negative z equals negative 4. So z now is equal to negative 4. Well, now we can go back to the original equation, one of them. How about this top one? We have uh, x. Now the y is 2, so we have plus 2. And then minus 4 is equal to 5. We have x minus 2 is equal to 5, so x must be 7. We have 7, 2, negative 4. When given two lines, there are three things that could possibly happen. Let's graph the first two. We have negative y equals negative 2x plus 3. Uh, we got y is equal to 2x plus 3. And if we graph, uh, if we set this one to slope intercept form, we have y equals negative 3x plus 2. And when we graph the first one, we have a y intercept of 3 with a slope of 2, so up 2 and over 1, up 2 and over 1. So we have this line right here. And we have one that crosses at positive 2 with a slope of negative 3. So we have down 2, 3, and over 1. So this one we have one solution. With this one we have negative 2y minus equals negative 3x plus 4. And then we divide by negative 2, we get 3 halves x minus 2. With uh, the second one, we have negative 4y is equal to negative 6x plus 8. Then when we divide by negative 4, we get 3 halves x minus 2. So this is the exact same line. We have a y-intercept of negative 2, up 1, 2, 3, and over 2. So we could have an infinite amount of solutions. So what is the solution of this? Infinitely many. And of course, if asked what is the solution of this one over here, we could find out where they intersect. But this one has one solution. This one has infinitely many solutions because when we graph uh, the two lines, it's the exact same line. And then on this third one, if we have negative 2y equals negative 3x plus 5, we can divide by negative 2, and that's 3 halves x minus 5 halves. When we put this one in the slope-intercept form, we have negative 4y is equal to negative 6x plus 8. Then when we divide by negative 4, we get 3 halves x and then minus, uh, minus 2. So both of them have a slope of 3 halves, but the y-intercept is different. So the top one is negative 2 and a half for the y-intercept, and then up 1, 2, 3, and over 2. So that's what this line looks like. And this one crosses at negative 2, but has the same slope. So it's up 3 over 2. Now these are parallel lines, and there's no solution. We have no solution. We have no point of intersection. So three things can happen when you have two lines. One solution, you have infinitely many, or no solution. With the no solution, they're parallel. Solve each system of inequalities. This one we have a y-intercept of 1 with a slope of 2, so up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and let's see, let's, let's use our line tool, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. And we want this one to be a dotted line, so I can select it and I can make it dotted. So we want a dotted line here because it is not equal to. The equal part is on the line. Then with this one, we have a y-intercept of negative 2, y-intercept of negative 2 and the slope of negative 1. And this one, I actually want it to be solid because we have the equal to part. Now when you have uh, a line in slope intercept form, greater than means above and greater than means above on this one, but less than would mean below. So we want above the first line and above the second line. And then we want the common area. And the common area is right here on top. So we shade this in, meaning all those values solve this system of inequalities. Solve each system. All right, so we have uh, a y-intercept of negative 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Slope of 1. And we want this line to be dotted. 
The second one is, so we got the first one right here. The second one has a y-intercept of negative 2 with a slope of negative 2. So down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. And we want this one to be dotted because it doesn't have equal to, equals to, equal to in it. And then the last one does have equal to. Uh, we, uh, we want that one to be solid. So we have a slope of 1, or a y-intercept of 1, and then down 1, 2, 3, over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here's our last line. Well, we are above, above, and below. So above the first one, here, here, and here. On the second one, we're also above, so here, there, and there and then finally below the last one which is in this area right here so we need to shade inside this little triangle all of these points will solve the system